Render token is quickly approaching new all-time highs, and we love to see it. In this video, we're going to be talking about why Render has been outperforming the greater crypto markets, hint, hint, AI, and why the exponential growth that we're seeing in NVIDIA and really the AI sector overall could potentially propel Render token to levels that even I thought were optimistic just a couple of months ago. Okay, on top of these fundamentals. I also want to take a quick look at render on the charts. We'll talk some short to medium term price action, but more importantly, I want to discuss my longer term bull market 2024, 2025 bull market price targets for render that honestly don't have anything to do with the charts, but more so evaluation. My name is Royce Jacob and welcome back to waves capital. All right, you guys, before we get to reading, if you want my daily trade alerts, if you want to know when I'm taking profits on Render Token, how I'm trading names like Riot, Bitcoin, Bitcoin miners, small cap stocks, if you want a complete breakdown of my entire personal portfolio, as well as my daily newsletters where I cover Render every day, sometimes every other day, then that is the first link in the description of this video. It's my complete portfolio and daily trade alerts and email newsletters, 15 bucks a month. 40 bucks for every three months. You can even try it free for seven days if you'd like. Give it a shot. If you don't like it, you can always just peace out. But times are looking up. The waves are coming. And uh, I look forward to riding with you guys. Once again, if you want to join, welcome to the winning team. The first link in the description of this video. Let's get to rating. Render price nears an all-time high. Will render hit new ATH? This was a great ar article by Nikola Lazic from CCN. And uh, of all the articles that I stumbled across and have re read over over the past week or so, I felt that this was the most appropriate to read with you guys. So credit where credit's due, props to the author. All-time high. Key takeaways. Render's price surged 1,540% since early 2023. That's really crazy when you kind of look back upon it. Nearing all-time high. Growth driven by fundamental developments and AI advancements, NVIDIA's AI chip market dominance boost related AI crypto tokens. Okay, so quickly, let's take a look at Render's current, sorry, Render's previous all-time high, okay? When you look at the chart, it's kind of weird. If you look at even on TradingView and uh, go to Render's all-time high back in November of 2021, it peaks out at almost exactly where we're sitting at right now, at about 779. But in reality, the price that, I mean, in peak mania, peak manic mode in November 2021, the highest price that someone paid for a render token through, I mean, at least um, categorized exchanges, data, like data-driven exchanges, was $8.76, okay? So, eight seventy six is the official all-time high. If we're looking at the charts, we're pretty much breaking to a new all-time high. Point is, new all-time highs are very likely coming. Since the beginning of 2023, the price of render token has been in a major uptrend. It rose from a bear market low of 40 cents to a high of $6.50 on February 21st, gaining 1,540%. It is now just 30% away from revisiting its all-time high of around $8. However, it was already in a major uptrend. So, does it have the strength to make new all-time highs soon? Render in the AI wave. Before we finish off this article and then move into the charts, you guys, let's quickly read over just a few. Uh, I, I don't want to read over the entirety of this article. I do recommend you guys go check it out for yourself from Coindesk if you want to. I just want to read over the first couple of paragraphs. Okay, so it's not just render. It's AI linked crypto tokens overall surge after NVIDIA sees a tipping point. AI tokens outperform the Coindesk 20 index as crypto traders bet on solid NVIDIA earnings and outlook. We already have... Uh, as of the date of recording, at least, we got those NVIDIA earnings and they really blew expectations out of the water. Giant chip maker NVIDIA beat its already lofty fourth quarter earnings expectations, boosting the broader equity markets and artificial intelligence or AI related tokens. NVIDIA said on Wednesday that its fourth quarter earnings per share were $5.16, beating the average analyst estimate of $4.59 per share. According to FactSat data, the chip maker also posted revenue of 22.1 billion, which came in higher than Wall Street's expectation of 20.4 billion. These numbers, I'm sure everyone expected good numbers out of NVIDIA. These are bonkers numbers. These are blockbuster numbers, and this impressed even me. I'm sure it impressed most of the optimists around NVIDIA as well, if I'm being honest. So, NVIDIA 
is currently the poster child, is the king of the AI sector. Uh, this is good news, not only for really AI related cryptocurrencies and stocks, but really for growth and risk assets overall. So even if, uh, even if you may just have a small position in render, if you have exposure to growth stocks, small caps, risk assets, or other cryptocurrencies, obviously, especially in the AI space, you should look forward to some promising times ahead because uh, as, I, as I said, when I discussed NVIDIA's earnings in yesterday's newsletter, a rising tide lifts all ships. That's cliche, but I think it applies pretty well here. Okay, so let's finish off this guy. Render in the AI wave. The overall market environment, AI advancements, and other developments led Render to, it, to its current price. You got to fact check this one a little bit, buddy. I'm sorry, spell check. Render is capitalizing on the current enthusiasm for AI and generative content. This shows a significant price increase due to its potential role in the media space. It has executed rendering jobs for such high profile projects as the Las Vegas Fear and Apple's Vision Pro. Those are big names, blockbuster names there. Okay. I hear all the so called crypto partnerships with Apple, but it only has it, but only one has it for real. Let me introduce you to Render. Proof every MacBook slash iPad has features installed in the mother company, Otoy of Render. Otoy has been working with Apple for many years now. And do I have to open a new page? Don't really want to do that. You guys can go check out the tweet for yourself. We're just going to keep reading. But that is one of the primary reasons that I started discussing Render uh, a couple of years ago, maybe almost three years. Yeah, like almost three years ago now on this channel and why I established such a, a relatively large, for me, it's a large position in Render Token it's all these years ago. It's because their founder, Jules Urbach, is also the founder of Otoy. He has a very clear track record, has built a very successful company in the rendering space. And he has the connections, okay? He has the connections and really that's that, that matters a lot. That matters a lot in kind of this extremely congested, there's a lot going on in the space. There's a lot of people trying to get the attention of big money. Jules Urbach and Otoy, who once again are the creators of Render, the founder of the Render Network, he already has those connections. He doesn't have to build new bridges. He already has existing bridges that he can utilize to fund and really create uh, some major partnerships like this. Okay, that's the big, uh, one of what was one of the big selling points for me um, when it came to render initially, and it still is. Advancements in AI, such as OpenAI Sora. It's crazy if you guys have seen that, you had to have seen it by now, the AI generated videos. Further bolster Render's positioning by showcasing the potential of high fidelity generative content. Render's involvement in these developments underscore the expanding intersection between AI and digital rendering technologies with industry leaders expressing optimism about its future impact on creativity and digital content creation. NVIDIA has experienced a tremendous year, significantly benefiting from its dominance in the AI chip market, leading to substantial stock market gains. The high demand for NVIDIA's H100 chips in anticipation for the new B100 chips suggests potential for further growth. With a market cap of $1.72 trillion, it's higher than that now. NVIDIA has recently outpaced giants like Amazon and Alphabet in value, reflecting a 44% increase in its stock price year to date and a 236% rise over the past year. Crazy. Again, when you're talking about a, a company at this scale of 1.72 trillion, that's 1,700 billion. It's a crazy way to think about it. That's a massive gain. And once again, that's this looks like a bubble. When you look at NVIDIA's chart, it looks like every bubble I've seen. But in their earnings report yesterday, NVIDIA proved, I mean, they stood their ground. They proved what they had. And they proved that, you know, that hype is appropriately reflecting the actual demand that they're experiencing for their chips, okay? So this success has got Wall Street buzzing about NVIDIA's future and sparked interest in AI-focused cryptocurrencies, pro crypto tokens, tomato, tomato, projects that utilize decentralized GPU rendering and AI-driven marketplaces like Render, Fetch AI, and Singularity Net are particularly well-positioned to benefit from the increasing investments in AI technology. Boom, let's drop the mic there. And move on to render on the chart. So, man, if it just feels so good to see our charts play out so well. And again, if you guys are part of the newsletter, if you guys are part, part of the Waves Capital, if you're part of the portfolio group, if you've been tuning in to the render analyses we've been we, we've been having for the past like couple of weeks now, drop a comment down below, drop a cheers emoji or something, because we nailed this, you guys. We called for not only a test of broken support, 
uh, this test of broken support on this prior ascending channel right here top line of resistance on the ascending channel blue uh, line of support that was broken retested but has been broken back above this yellow line um, I mean we just this just played out well and you can see right now I mean I guess this line of resistance right here now see that you guys that's why I like these conservative lines of resistance some traders are gonna be drawing a line of resistance like this but you always want to front run the competition that's why you want the more touch points the merrier when you're using candles especially if it's just a single candle wick like that the more touch points the merrier and uh, that's always a safe way to play you can see right now as i'm recording this we're sitting directly on top of this line of what i call conservative resistance i'll call this just a little ta 101 right here at least my ta 101 um, i'll call this absolute resistance this is conservative resistance i personally always trade off of conservative resistance so just to throw that in when it comes to the short term we are looking incredibly overbought. That is undeniable. Uh, I'm on daily candles right now. You can see Render not only has tested, um, again, my line of conservative resistance. I could, you could almost call this my wave two price target as far as the shortish term is concerned. Um, short to medium term, classic two wave pattern. We know those well over here at Waves Cap and coined them ourselves. Uh, not only tested my wave two target, which is once again, this line of resistance, but we uh, are pretty much maxed out on the RSI. We don't get much higher than this. Let's move my fat head real quick. We are well uh, about above 85 on RSI. We can actually uh, no 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 well, that was that. We can actually zoom this out, and yeah, it doesn't even this the, my RSI indicator literally it's off the charts. So we are off the charts overbought right now. I would be pretty surprised if we didn't see a correction in the short to medium term, um, but. As we just alluded to, the momentum, not only the tangible fundamental momentum that is behind NVIDIA and the AI sector overall, but the exponential growth in the hype and excitement behind AI-related products, any, any, any asset with exposure to AI or with a direct link to AI is seeing exponential hype-related growth as well, okay? So we have the fundamentals. We have the technicals, we have the hype, the technicals are a little over, overbought, I guess, as I just said, but we have the fundamentals, we have the hype, and uh, when you're looking at a hype cycle, and when you get into territories that can't really be explained with rationale, then, you know, that's, we've seen it plenty of times before, and I see no reason, especially with Bitcoin looking pretty good approaching the halving, I see no reason that Render can't do something very similar, okay? If there is going to be an asset that's gonna see a hype cycle and go to levels that don't even make sense, it's gonna be something like Render. At least that's my opinion, okay? So when it comes to my 2024, maybe 2025, I think it's gonna happen in 2024 personally. 2024 bull market targets, I do think we see new highs in 2024. I mean, we're probably going to see, we might see new highs as, as soon as tomorrow, as soon as you guys are watching this video for render, but Bitcoin new all time highs, I think are coming in 2024 with the having coming up in early April, mid April. Um, I do think render could significantly outperform the rest of the competition, given all the reasons we just discussed. Render is currently sitting, scroll up here at a market cap of $2.95 billion. I've said this before. I'll say it again. My 2024 bull market price target for render is not a token price, but the market cap of $10 billion. That is the first place at which I will, I personally plan to take significant profits on my own render position. That said, there is no reason that given the exponential growth in AI and the exponential hype that is building behind AI sectors and AI related assets that we can't climb to 15, 20, maybe even $50 billion. You guys, things can get crazy when the markets get hot. We've seen it before. If you were here in 2017 or 2021, you would understand that perfectly, but the point is, from here, a $10 billion market cap with uh, render pretty much fully diluted, okay? So the fully diluted market cap is just above. We only have about 5 million render left in the max supply. So we're pretty much maxed out on existing supply of render token. This market cap directly, uh, almost directly reflects the circulating supply. So that means that if render was to reach a $10 billion market cap, you're looking at, you know, what, like a, just under a $30 render token, okay? So... 30 bucks, I'll just round it up for, for the sake of this video, is going to be my 2024 render price target, or at least my first real profit-taking target. But for all the reasons we just discussed, it's like the fourth time I'm saying this, but it's true. 
for all the reasons we just discussed, it could be much higher than that. And, uh, you know, if it is, congrats to us. Cheers, you guys. Again, if you want to ride the waves with me, if you want to know how I'm trading my personal portfolio on a daily basis, it's the first link in the description of this video. Join Waves Cap, get the daily newsletters. I'm, uh, you know, slow down on the videos, but that's just the cyclical nature of, of this profession sometimes. Newsletters every day, trades every day, still super exciting. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the newsletters. I look forward to trading with you guys, and I look forward to riding all the waves the months ahead have in store for us. Until next time, Always remember, take action, make waves. Peace, guys.